Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Ruggiero, Vice President of Communications for Quilts Incorporated. One of the most anticipated exhibits at the Long Beach Festival is going to be a celebration of color. This is an annual judge show with cash prizes sponsored by eQuilter.com. And the first place uh, for this year in the modern category was Inner Cube by Jody Murphy, who we have with us today, and Teresa Silva. So I'm going to go ahead and read her artist statement first. For this quilt, uh, Jody says, English paper piecing is a way for me to express my love of geometry, color, architecture, and tulip pink fabrics. I use the tumbling block to give the quilt dimension by repeating the placement of light, medium, and dark values throughout the quilt. I love using fabric to create secondary patterns. The rainbow effect from top to bottom, the diagonal lines of the black and white stars, and the rings of color created by each block. And you can see inner cube uh, right here behind me. So uh, welcome, Jody. Hey, thank you. Well, I guess the first question is probably the most obvious. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, what made you decide to do this quilt and what went into kind of the uh, the design and construction of it. Yeah, I um, I just recently started sewing about five years ago. Wow. And, uh, I had gone to a Tula Pink trunk show and thought, well, you know, I'll try EPP. So I got the Nova pattern. Um, I fell in love with it. And I'm kind of a tulip pink junkie as well. And I like to watch the Tuesday talks that she does. And she was working on a tumbling block quilt. And I thought those blocks are really cool. They just really spoke to me. And I just kind of started playing around and this is what happened. <laughs> wow. Well, of course, the, the theme of the whole exhibit is color. So obviously with particularly this quilt, the color is especially important. So how did you go about choosing the different uh, colors of fabrics and what you wanted to do with it? Uh, it's it's kind of funny. It's not really scientific for me. I really just am doing a rainbow effect and I'll put two colors together and it's either, yeah, that looks amazing or, <laughs> ew, but, you know, that just isn't going to work out. So that's about the extent of it. I, I like to lay them out on the floor, on the wall, and just kind of play with them and see what I like together. So you kind of, uh, most people have a design wall. You have a design floor, I guess. So. Uh, yeah, floor and wall. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you've got knee pads. I don't know when you're down there. So <laughs> yeah. so how did you how did you first get interested in quilting? And then what made you make the leap between just kind of enjoying it and, and actually making them? Um, my mom and my aunts and my grandma also and my whole life they've pushed me uh, to sew and I never was really interested. I'm kind of a tomboy. Um, in fact, the only class that I ever failed in school was home ec in junior <laughs> high. So it's kind of crazy that I'm sewing. Um, and I had some vacation time where I had to use it or lose it. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And I started watching YouTube videos and just really got hooked, you know, and, and I fell in love with the Tula fabrics. And like I said, I went to the Tula trunk show mm -hmm. and was just, um, I just love all the colors in her print. So I'm kind of a Tula snob. That's really about the only fabric that's in here is all Tula. And I love it because there's such a wide range of color and then all of her lines go together. So as I accumulate it, you can see it like an inner cube, it's bits and pieces of various lines of hers. So. So, so far, you told us you're a Tula snob and a Tula junkie. So I, th <laughs> I think we know where, where your interest lies. I got some Tula uh, Hey, Tula. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're watching this. Uh, yeah. I noticed you've got a really cool studio that, out there behind you. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, just my sewing room, my happy place in here. Um, some pieces. It's I get ideas in my head and I have to get them down. So I just kind of have various things going. Um, this is inner stellar that's um, coming out now like the next quilt after the one behind you and then another idea with the new tula stripes that are out that i'm working on so mm -hmm. um, my bernina which after epp doesn't see much use so i feel kind of sad for her so i try to sew with it when i can <laughs> obviously uh, in her cube here won first place in the modern category so when did you first get interested in and particularly in, in modern quilting I don't know that I'm like a modern quilter. I think it's just um, the use of color. I just like that bright graphic and, you know, the, the geometry of it. You know, I spoke to that. I'm a, a definite math nerd and I love the geometry of it. And I think just when you put those bright colors together with, with that geometric or, you know, the shades and stuff that are in my background, it just kind of pops into that modern category. Like you don't see a lot of brown in there. No, it's, no. <laughs> kind of helps so, with 
something else I always, I always like to ask everyone, if you could have one quilting superpower, something you can do that would be right all the time, what would it be and why? Oh, superpower. If I could have, um, I don't know if it's a superpower, but if I could have little sewing elves, that would be amazing. So I have all these things in my head. I do work a full-time job. And so this is my hobby in a sense, or my job too. So if I had little sewing elves that would just make all the stuff that's in my head, that would be amazing. And do you have enough space in your house, say, to put up sewing elves? Or I mean, I don't know. We will make eat, it happen. I mean, <laughs> are there other people in your house that might not like <laughs> elves running around with fabric? I don't know. So I don't know. I think my husband would be fine with it. It's just him and the cat. So okay. hopefully the cats wouldn't, you know, attack the elves and that, that could get really, really messy for you there, Jody. So yeah, I think it'd be all right. Okay. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to add that I haven't asked? No, I think just thank you so much for the opportunity. And um, I'm still in shock that that this won a, won a prize. It's just amazing. And I, I look forward to seeing it in Houston. And thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And we want to remind everybody a celebration of color will be on display both at the Long Beach show this July 6th through 8th and Houston, uh, November 2nd through 5th this year. So Jody, congratulations again. And thanks for taking out the time. Thank you so much.